hello, I'm here at Big Finish HQ to beat David Dow for the 10th Doctor Chronicles. How do I look? Right, where do you want me? Uh, sorry, oh, I'm sorry, I'm so, so sorry. But I'm the best David Dow. I'm brilliant. Oh, look, you've got a little booth. I like a little booth. Please stop. Sometimes I think a cold open for the fan show goes on too long. Crystal, <sighs> uh, Jake Dudman is narrating an audiobook. It's four new tales from the 10th Doctor era from Doctor Who. Um, so he's going to be doing the impressions. Uh, sorry, Crystal. We're recording in here. Do you mind? What? 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 Sorry for barging in like that. That's all right. <laughs> You're here to record the 10th Doctor Chronicles. Can yeah. you tell me more about what that's about? <gasps> well, uh, it's four adventures that follow David Tennant's Doctor. We have adventures in a nursing home, one on a, on a rogue time-travelling spaceship that isn't the TARDIS. Um, and I don't know the other two yet, so I haven't got round to it. These are audio books, so they're not plays. Yes, so I will be narrating as well as playing the Doctor. And as part of narrating, you're doing some impressions as well. Well, that's the thing though, about David Tennant, because you've got the look, haven't you? But how have you got the voice? I don't think I've got the voice, no. <laughs> Donna, in this particular no. story? No. 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 That's She's what I mean. quite rough. 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 We're also doing the 11th Doctor Chronicles, which I don't actually know whether we're allowed to talk about, but that would be Matt Smith's Doctor. Let's cast our minds back to a few years ago. Uh, mm. You appeared on YouTube uh, on your own channel doing a, mm. a, an amazing Matt Smith impression. We all change when you think about it. We're all different people all through our lives, but that's okay, that's good. You've got to keep moving so long as you remember all the people that you used to be. I think it's fair to say that this is what really kicked things off for you. I always liked doing silly voices on the playground. That was me being an attention-seeking child. But I'd watched a lot of Doctor Who and I thought my impression was half bad. So I put, made a video, Matt Smith impression, in the comments section put, does anyone think this is any good? And then people responded well to it. So when you start a new impression and you spot somebody you want to imitate, like how do you start? Do you just go for it or do you just like, do some research first, watch some videos? Yeah, so for this, this has been the best thing about doing these adventures. The first video I ever did on YouTube was the Matt Smith impression, and now I'm doing Matt Smith and David Tennant in Big Finish, it's great. When you get cast for a role like this, you have to do your research and you have to learn about the character. For this, I've just had to watch a load of David Tennant Doc 2 episodes. There are always little nuances and mannerisms. David, you've already got it nailed down. Ah! <laughs> All of that sort of stuff. <laughs> and it's little uh, physical things as well. Mm -hmm. Physical things and music can help a lot. What sort of music would this character listen to? So David Tennant's quite rock and roll, but he also has the lean. You're doing it, you've already, Crystal's already automatically got her hands in her pocket. <laughs> but he does this lean way, sort of like, oh, you know, yeah. and the way he walks is very swaggy. So there's that sort of physical side to it, but then there's also the little mannerisms and the head tilts. And that and would all affect the voice stuff, as well, wouldn't it? If, yeah, you're, exactly. if you're moving your head around all the time, your voice is all going to go. Yeah, 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 exactly. Really weird, really like that. Really like that, yeah. <laughs> we need to talk about uh, one of your most recent pieces on YouTube mm. a collaboration with John Colshaw, who is an incredible impressionist who some viewers may know from Dead yeah. Ringers. You were curious about this painting, I think. I acquired it in remarkable circumstances. What do you make of the title? Well, which title there's two? No more Gallifrey Falls. No, you see, that's where everybody's wrong. It's all one title. Gallifrey Falls No More. Now, what would you think that means, eh? John got in touch with me having seen one of my videos online. Very strangely, we'd always had the idea that we might do that together, recreate the scene from the day of the Doctor. And I'd had it in my head. I think I actually tweeted him a couple of years ago saying, just had a dream that I did this with John Coleshaw. And he replied going, ooh, that would be spooky. And then a couple of months ago, we actually did it. John got in touch with the old Dead Ringers director and just thought it'd be lovely to work with him again. And people just had a love for the show and a love for John and loved the idea that we had and just jumped on board with it. John's actually doing uh, another adventure with me in the 10th Doctor Chronicles on my life, so. Well, I think you're obviously the best person for this job, so. Um... Thanks, Crystal. <laughs>